So I think the first media trend that we'll see in 2018 is the prioritization of video and particularly live streaming. So with platforms like Facebook and YouTube recently moving into live streaming um, and with the growth of Snap doing that, uh, that's going to be a big trend in 2018. So I think the second trend we're going to see in 2018 is probably some platforms and services that start to counter choice fatigue. So with the explosion of particularly over-the-top services and direct-to-consumer services, there is now an unbelievable amount of choice and navigating that choice is something that we're seeing the trends of consumers being more nervous about. And so we think that platforms and services will come through that will start to aggregate some of that content around audience need. So I think the third trend we're going to see is the growth of experiential content. So content consumed as consumers are out and about in retail environments, in leisure environments, and the mix between the mobile device uh, screens knowing where you are, I think is going to be an interesting thing that will start to really explode in 2018. The fourth trend I think we're going to see is the continued growth of long form. So uh, we're starting to see now consumers uh, watching more in the five minute space up to 10 minute. Vice obviously make a, a huge business out of that. So it all used to be about super short form and over 2018, I think we'll see a continued growth of the 10 minute format. The fifth media trend I think we'll see in 2018 is the continued growth of opinion journalism. So it's interesting seeing James Harding's announcement that he's leaving the BBC to set up a media organisation that will have a more uh, dedicated tone of voice uh, to particular opinions. And that's something I think you're seeing growing more and more across the spectrum, both from uh, left-wing uh, publications like like the Canary through to uh, right-wing uh, publications, I guess following really in the history of, of Fox News. And I think that opinion journalism will be something that really grows and explodes through 2018.